Welcome to Faith and Freedom. For the next few minutes, we hope to inform, inspire, and encourage you as we discuss the legal victories and challenges to your fundamental freedoms and religious liberties. Faith and Freedom comes to you from Liberty Council, a civil liberties education and legal defense organization. Join us now as Matt Staber, the President and General Counsel of Liberty Council, explains the latest legal issues all across this country in the courtrooms of America. Liberty Council is winning the battle for your constitutional freedoms. Planned Parenthood conspires with sex traffickers and also admits it doesn't need federal money. Hi, I'm Matt Staver, founder and chairman of Liberty Council and dean of Liberty University School of Law. Joining me is Matt Barber, vice president of Liberty Council Action and also dean, associate dean of the law school. Matt, uh, Lila Rose with Live Action has done tremendous service by under by having these undercover videos of Planned Parenthood. Several of them are in the Commonwealth of Virginia where these individuals posed as a pimp, that they were actually pushing sex trafficking for minors. And they knew it, and Planned Parenthood really participated in a conspiracy to continue to foster that illegal activity. Yeah, and this, and this isn't something that is uh, sporadic. Uh, th- this is systematic. They had, so far, seven videos from seven different locations have been unearthed. And this just goes to show you what one person can do if he or she puts uh, his or her mind to it. Lila stepping in there uh, and, and, and doing this. She has exposed uh, the, the criminal activities, frankly, of Planned Parenthood. At least they believe they were engaging in criminal activities by uh, facilitating and helping to aid and abet. Uh, these uh, what they believe to be child sex traffickers. Um, her videos came up on the floor of the House several times. They were talked about on the floor of the House during the debate over the Pence Amendment, which we talked about yesterday, which passed the House by, t- uh, I believe, 240 to, to 185, um, with 10 Democrats voting in favor. Her videos were instrumental, I believe, in the House vote to defund Planned Parenthood that just shows you what one person can do. Well, this pimp that was posing undercover was participating with Live Action, and Lila Rose is the founder of Live Action. By the way, Lila is coming to Liberty University on April 8, and she will be the very first speaker of our Awakening 2011. She's going to be speaking in the convocation from 10 o'clock to 11 on April 8. And this is Lila Rose, who you've seen recently on Fox News and on other channels around the country. She's the founder of Live Action, and she's the one who's been doing, or her people, her organization has been doing these undercover videos. This one undercover video, several of them occurring in Virginia, one of them very close to Liberty University, about an hour away in Roanoke, Virginia, is involving uh, individuals that pose as a pimp. And these individuals are pimping these minor children. So first of all, it's a a crime to engage in prostitution. Secondly, this particular pimp is portraying that he is engaging in having uh, individuals have sex with minors. So that's even a more compounded, heinous crime. Planned Parenthood is aware of this in these undercover videos, and they conspire to essentially say how they can do abortions and then how shortly after the abortion this pimp can put them back into the children. sex trafficking yeah put these children back into the sex trafficking industry and make more money with them that is if that's if that's not egregious enough we have seen now the left circling the wagons protecting planned parenthood i was watching i don't know why um, I guess I'm a masochist. I was watching MSNBC last night, and Rachel Maddow, <laughs> right. Rachel Maddow was on there defending, throwing a hissy conniption fit about this whole Planned Parenthood scandal and about Congress voting to defund Planned Parenthood. They are are digging in their heels. You'd think that they would say, "Okay, yeah, we're busted," but no, they're rationalizing what these people were doing, digging in their heels. And Planned Parenthood has even come out with a statement saying, "Well, hey, at least our people in Virginia, while they were aiding and abetting." these child sex traffickers, at least they were professional in their demeanor. I mean, that, they, they were looking for anything to justify what they had done. That's right. I mean, you know, these uh, these videos really underscore what we've always told about Planned Parenthood, and uh, the reality is that it's even worse than what you can imagine, that an organization that receives federal funds, and by the way, as you mentioned, the Pence Amendment was passed that defunds Planned Parenthood, that now goes over to the Senate, and we pray that's where the focus of our battle is going to be, that the Senate actually confirms the House bill to defund Planned Parenthood. But this federal money has been going to fund an organization that conspires with individuals to kill our children 
and then to actually not only kill children, but to conspire with other children who are having sex. And in this one particular case, they told this guy that after abortions are done on these children, that they could go back into his sex trafficking industry two weeks later and go right through the process again, and then another abortion can take place. They also talked to him about, in the Roanoke Clinic, how he could make some additional money by donating blood, even though uh, he was suggesting that it may be HIV positive. And uh, they were telling him that you could actually give your plasma to these different organizations, and there are several ways to get around finding out that you're HIV uh, positive. Uh, Let that sink in for a minute. They are not only aiding and abetting child sex traffickers, people they believe to be child sex traffickers, helping them to to perform abortions on these children and to get these little girls back on the street. They are encouraging and helping this man circumvent uh, provisions that are put in place for the health of the larger community to protect people. They are telling him how to get, get around that with the very real possibility that he would go in and contaminate the blood supply, infecting uh, unknown numbers of people with HIV, yet they didn't care. Matt, there's no other word to describe it, I'm, but these people are monsters. I, I, I cannot right. uh, understate. You well, know, they, were, they were essentially it's telling... sociopathic. They were t- essentially saying that you could get this HIV test from free if you go donate blood because they're going to test you for HIV. Well, the problem is, is that you could get HIV, you could have a negative test, meaning that it wouldn't show up, but it's still in your blood because it hasn't shown up in your blood yet. So you could actually donate HIV infected blood, put it into the bloodstream so that someone who just got in a serious accident in on the car in the and the road goes to the hospital now and they get your HIV positive blood and now they have HIV. I mean this the the disregard for human yeah, life yeah. whether in the womb or you know an adult that needs blood transfusions is just absolutely calloused and unthinkable. Yeah, there's that period of dormancy uh, w- with HIV AIDS where the, where the tests, if they're tested, they can be HIV positive and it will not show up in the blood supply. That's why, for instance, the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, bans men who have ever had sex with another man from ever donating blood because there's that period of dormancy. So, um, yeah, you're, you're right. The fact that they would encourage him to go do this potentially contaminating the blood supply just compounds uh, the, the other things that they've done in, in the past. But you know, Lila Rose, her organization Live Action, this isn't the, the first time they've uncovered mm-hmm. uh, malfeasance on the part of Planned Parenthood. They have a series of videos showing Planned Parenthood offering to specifically a supposed you know people uh, acting as, as a white supremacist or racist would call in and say, we'd like our money to specifically go to abort a black baby because there are too many blacks out there can can we do that? And on numerous occasions, Planned Parenthood uh, yeah, people have said, "Yes, send us the money. We'll, we'll they'll accept earmark it. their designated contribution for a black baby, so that that money goes to abort a black baby." Yeah, that, that's just an, another aspect of of the. Uh, and you know, do, you know what they did during Christmas, and and this is the second Christmas, maybe the third Christmas that they've done this, but at least the second one in a row that I know of, they gave out uh, these uh, cards that you can send out Christmas cards. And uh, the Christmas cards are basically um, uh, gift certificates to have an abortion. I mean, can you imagine opening up uh, around the tree a gift certificate to have an abortion? Here you're celebrating the birth of Christ at that time, family, and you get a gift certificate for abortion. And a year ago, the head of one of these organizations, Planned Parenthood or or National Organization for Women, one of those two, was actually sending out a, a... message to people how to celebrate Thanksgiving. And believe it or not, she said, when you get around the Thanksgiving table, make sure that you bring up the issue of abortion. Now, you're talking about Thanksgiving. And she actually did an article about bringing up abortion during the Thanksgiving dinner so that you can teach the people around your table about abortion. That is the culture of death. That yeah. is the culture of death. That is a culture that, that above and, and, and beyond, beyond everything else, worships at the altar of so-called choice. Uh, and, and its choice is really a euphemism for the right to slaughter the unborn. It's a culture well, of it, death it's, versus it's a culture of It's absolutely satanic. And it is it, satanic. It is from the cult. It is, it is, like you said, the culture of death. In America, we need to restore the culture of life. The Declaration of Independence said we are endowed by our creator 
with certain unalienable rights. In other words, government can't take those rights away, among which are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. By virtue of creation, God created us with the right to life. Give us a call at Liberty Council. We have the Patriot's uh, Handbook, and that Patriot's Handbook is just a little pocket-sized book. It has contained in it the um, United States Constitution and uh, also the Declaration of Independence. It's the handbook, Patriot's Handbook on American Liberty. The Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, and Patrick Henry's Give Me Liberty or Give Me Death speech. Ask for it by going to lc.org today. You have been listening to Matt Staver of Liberty Council. Our hope is to encourage and inspire you to stand up for your faith, family, and freedoms. We can accomplish a lot when we work together. Get informed and get involved today. Sign up for our free monthly newsletter, The Liberator. We will send it out to you free of charge. Stay informed with our Liberty Alert email update. Just click on the website at www.lc.org or call us at 1-800-671-1776. Tune in next time to learn more about your rights right here on Faith and Freedom.